on game night, Nikki, Jackie, Lincoln, and myself, Rusty, are going to play Tapestry, a game for one to five players designed by Jamie Stegmeyer and published by Stonemeyer Games. So let's start a new civilization. Hey, Rusty. Yes, Lincoln. Will you teach us Tapestry? I will teach us Tapestry. <laughs> tapestry is a civilization game in which we are going to be placing territory tiles out to uh, expand our empires, moving along tech tracks where we will expand our abilities. We will be using our civilizations in front of us. We will be building up our capital cities in front of us. And we will be uh, moving through the five eras of the game. We, on our turns, will do one of two things. So, sounds reasonably simple. We will either increase the era that we are living in and re the rewards of that, which is income and victory points and anything that our civilization may happen to create for us. We each have our own special civilization. Other than that, the other action would be to increase along one of these four tracks, our advancement tracks. That would be our entire turn. Let's talk about our boards in front of us here. There's quite a few things going on here. We each have a civilization that gives us a power. I happen to have architects. Nikki has the craftsmen. Uh, Lincoln has the merry maids. Merry makers. Merry makers. And Jackie has the traders. These will give us an ability, which we will go over individually after the rules, uh, that gives us something during this phase of what's called the income turn. The income turn is potentially four different actions that are shown on our board here that we will go from top to bottom. There are five different eras. In the first era indicated on the board, we will not deal with our civilization. We will look at the second item here, which is placing a tapestry card adding to our board of eras here. We will also not do that in the first era as we are already going to all be makers of fire for our first era because we are going to have to grow. We have to start somewhere. <laughs> and the fire is an excellent place to start. Next, we would upgrade any tech cards, which we would have off the side, but we will also not do that in the first era and receive any victory points from wreaths in the exposed building income area at the top of our board. Lastly, we would receive income from any exposed spaces from our income buildings at the top of our boards. Is there going to be a test at the end? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have cheat sheets here, so you're going to be able to look at that All as right. well. We but will check your score, though. There will be yeah. no test, yeah. but we will check your score. I do have an example board without our buildings on it so that you can see what each of the tracks exposes. Along the top track, which are the markets, you can see coin symbols. That's the bag. For each symbol that's exposed, you will receive a coin added to your supply track at the beginning of each era. The food track is under the farms, which will indicate the food symbols that look like mushrooms. The houses track indicates workers, which are the gray people here. And lastly, the armories track has culture, which are the stars and you would increase each of those for each one that is visible along the track along the bottom of your board. You will notice you have symbols that all start at zero right now, and the board indicates how many of each of those that you have when you move them up. You can have a maximum of eight of each at the bottom. These become exposed as we build buildings, but I will get to that in a moment. But this is the last phase of the income turn. So each time you select a new era, we will go through these four steps, indicating which ones are correct uh, for that era based off of the numbers on the side. But the first era, like I mentioned, we will only do the income phase. After that, that is our entire turn, and it would go to the next player. Our second option, I mentioned, is moving along the tracks. The tracks give us actions. They are known as benefits, and they are required when you move on to a space. Some spaces also have a bonus ability that you may or may not do if you wish or can. To move up on a track, you will pay the cost for the section you are moving into and through. The first section in each track requires you give up any one of the four goods that you may have. 
That is indicated by the symbol here of the four colors in the circle. So you may choose any one of your goods to give up, and then you may move into the next space in that track. They're all separated into four different sections. As you move into the new section, the costs increase, and for each section they are independently different. This section, known as the exploration track, within section two requires a food and any other good of your choice. Section three, a food and two goods of your choice. And when you start moving within section four, it is two food. The technology track, any good, a coin and any good, a coin and any two goods, two coins. Same with military, but it is now culture. And the same with science, but it is workers. Each of these tracks does essentially a different thing as far as what the focus is. The exploration track allows you and helps you build up territory tiles to, to your supply, which you will then use to explore on the board. Each of us have a starting location. This is our capital. Nikki's is indicated by the green. I am the yellow. Jackie is red and Lincoln is blue. That is related to the independent boards that we have here for our capital cities. You will explore by placing the territory tiles that you will acquire through the exploration track next to an existing territory tile that you control, which is indicated by one of your outposts standing up. There are other rewards within the exploration track, but that is the general idea of the exploration track. The military track is where you will conquer tiles that you uh, you or someone else has explored out on the board. You conquer a tile that is next to one of your existing conquered and controlled territory tiles. You may never move into a tile that has two pieces on it already. That tile is completed. It is never to be contested again. An empty tile, you would use the conquer power, place one of your reserve outposts on that space, and then roll both of the dice, receiving one of the two rewards that comes up. So these are mostly victory points? Well, no, it's either a good, usually, or a victory point? That's correct. Okay. One die is goods, one die is victory points. This, this, is, this one here is, gives you, nope, it gives you what's on the card. So when you place this, uh, you will get that good, mm -hmm. and then when you take it over, you will, you just take it over, but if you've rolled this when you do it, you can choose to take that. Uh, that good. It might be something else. It could be a card or something like that, but it varies. Okay. okay. The technology track allows you to acquire tech cards. These are the cards that are have a supply. Normally these cards would be lined along the edge of the board here, but due to the space requirements on the table that we have, we've set them up so that everyone can see everything going on. Except for Nikki, those are far away. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. These, okay. these cards will be added to your inventions, and over time, as you upgrade them, you may receive rewards on them. And I will explain those a little bit in a moment, but this is how you have ongoing rewards that you can receive victory points from. And lastly is the science track, where the science track has a die of its own, and in many of the spaces you will be rolling the science die, Whatever the face is that comes up, you will move one of your markers in that track up one space. Depending on whether it has an X or not, you will or will not receive the reward of that space. But all four tracks are listed on this die. So you may wind up moving up on a technology track or a military track, but okay. this helps you move along those or tracks. Or the science tracks. track itself. Or right. the science right, track right. itself. Okay. All right. So you will choose one of those two items. You will generally try to accomplish as much as you can with the resources you have. And then when you are no longer able to take an action, you generally will then move into your next era. That is taking income, playing the card, playing the civilization you have, upgrading one of the technologies that you have, and then receiving income for more goods to be able to use in the next round. The earlier rounds are going to be faster because you're going to have less goods, and later rounds will take longer. So let's go into a little detail on these so that we can see. There is a cheat sheet that comes with this, a couple of them. One explains 
literally everything for every space on all four tracks. And the other explains, the other set explains all the tech cards. The exploration track starts with acquiring two tiles. These are territory tiles. You will acquire them and set up a supply of your own face up. These are visible to everyone. And they may earn new points throughout the game, just for having them. The next symbol, the green and blue tile, is how you explore and expand upon the board. You will place one of your tiles from the supply into a space on the board next to a territory you already control. You will notice that these tiles have land masses and water on them as well as some reward that you will receive. When you place this tile, you will receive that reward and you will also receive victory points based off of the number of sides that have at least a partial matching component to the pieces that already exist. You can see a desert area and a grassland area here. This is a light green as compared to a dark green. If I were to have placed this in this fashion, I would actually receive three victory points for this as I have a matching side here with water. I have matching water here and I do happen to have matching, uh, desert. matching desert there. And then I have matching desert here even though this side does not match, only a portion of it has to match. So this side does have a matching section, this side has a matching, and that. That is three victory points for that. As there are no tiles here, I would not receive any victory points. If I were to have rotated like this, I would only receive two victory points. Even though there is water on both of these, they do not connect, nor do the deserts connect. So there is no match on this side, but these two sides do match. You are not required to place this in any orientation to have anything match, but the more that you can get to match, the more victory points it's worth. All right. Now, we will note that there is some graphics mm -hmm. on here that look like little water. This is just for graphical purposes to give some aesthetics to make it look like water continues, but these two pieces do in fact actually connect even okay. though there is a little bit of water between them. <laughs> hmm. All right. That is the exploration action. This is the first one that has a bonus action. Whenever you move into a space, the benefit is required. You must take that. But the bonus is something that you may optionally do after you take the benefit. This will have a cost associated with it and what your reward is. In this case, it is any one good that you pay and you will receive a tapestry card. There is a deck of cards off to the side here that are known as tapestry cards. These cards will be used in your board at the beginning of a new era. You will be placing these cards down and they will change the way the game works for you either immediately and some reward you will receive then or throughout the entire era. This card happens to be tyranny. It states this era if you gain a tapestry card, you may immediately play it on top of this card. The first and only time you do, you'll gain victory uh, five victory points. So this one allows you to change the card uh, that era when you receive a new tapestry. Cards have three different types. I mentioned the this era. They will state this era. There is also when played. This is an immediate and you will receive that one time. And lastly, there is a third type of card called a trap card. Trap cards are something you will keep in your hand and you won't let other people know that you have them because they come into play in the military track when you are conquering a space. So I will come back to those in a moment as I've gotten a little off track. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the track here, uh, just moving along, you will have the ability to explore by adding a tile or, and you'll notice that's a diagonal slash, build one of your farms. The farms are the brown buildings and you will add them to your civilization, uh, to your central city. Building a building, you will... Capital city, isn't it? Capital city. <laughs> Capital city. 
You will build that building by taking the next one off of your income track. These are known as income buildings. And you will place it anywhere on an open space that does not have another existing building or a red dot, which is an impassable space. When you place the building, there is no cost for it, but it may garner you a reward immediately. There are nine sections to this board. If you ever fill up one of the sections of the board completely, you will immediately receive a good of your choice. Filling that up means placing buildings in the empty spaces uh, with the income buildings or landmark buildings. There are larger buildings that are available as rewards as you move into new sections of each of the advancement tracks. So the red dots count as a filled space? Yes, the red okay. dots count as a filled space. So you do not need to fill them. Some of us uh, have boards that will make it very easy to fill certain ones very quickly. I think we all kind of But have then some it's of that, kind right? of hard to get the bigger buildings in there. That okay. is correct yeah. because you can never yeah. place on top of that. Now, one of the nice things about the bigger buildings is if for some reason it does not fit completely, you may build off the side. So you may actually build off of the board. That is acceptable. On all four sides? On all four sides. Each time you build an income building, that is helping you for the income round because you have now exposed another item. That is building an income building. As we move into the second tier of any of the advancement tracks, you'll notice that the first symbol here has a building. This is a landmark building associated specifically with each track we have a set of 12 buildings off to the side. The first person to have their cube moved into here, either by them advancing it themselves or someone else advancing it through an action on the board, will receive this building, this landmark building. They will place it immediately into their capital city. Mm -hmm. right. It looks like every section two starts with a building tile. Each of the sections. Do, each yeah. of the sections, each of the tracks. And they're unique, so. Yeah, Nobody once else can ever it, get them yeah, once exactly. you, okay. That's correct. Once you've acquired that, no one can take it from you. It is yours. This will continue on where we will have similar actions, being able to expand, receiving a tile. Some of these will have symbols such as receiving victory points for each conquered tile that you have out on the board, receiving more tiles and building, and so on. The third section, the costs increase, you will see a new building, and new powers, and this works essentially the same for each and every single one of the advancement tracks. Okay. Like I was mentioning earlier, there are specific focuses, but we can go over each one of these as we get there so that there's an understanding of that. Okay. All right. I'm sure I will <laughs> ask when I get there. There will definitely be questions. I would like to clarify a few things. There's some symbols that I have not shown yet. Uh, one, we will notice all on our boards. When we take a new era, you will place a card down as part of the income action, the second one. If you are the first person of your neighbors to cover this card up, you will receive the reward above it. So let's say uh, Jackie is the first to move into era two. She will receive this reward. I cannot, as she is a neighbor that has already mm -hmm. moved to era two, but Nikki, if she were to move into era two, before uh -huh. Lincoln would then also receive that reward. Okay. So neighbor is, is where we're seated, not on yeah, the exactly, board here? Exactly. That okay. is correct. It is turn order. All right. And you can see the rewards increase two and then three. There's another symbol very similar to it, and you will see that on the tech cards. That is three people all the same size. This means anyone at the table. And this is in regards to when you can upgrade a tech card to its maximum tech. That means any person has fulfilled this minimum requirement. These requirements are based off of either progression along the track mm -hmm. to a specific tier or having exposed a specific hmm. item on someone's board. Uh, okay. That may not necessarily be your own board, but as long as someone has exposed that item on the board, such as here, the stock market. If someone has exposed banking, hmm. anyone at the table has exposed banking from their board, this card may be upgraded. And that is something to talk about here because we've not discussed how these cards work. Upgrades are a function of the board. You will see them mostly along the tech track. 
mm -hmm. the technology track along the side, but it is also something we will be doing each income turn. When you receive a tech card, it is placed in the first and lowest space. You may have as many cards in each of these spaces. There is no limit to them. Ah. But as you upgrade it, you will move it into the next section, which happens to be circles. You will receive immediately the reward in the circle. That can be victory points, it can be goods, it can be building a building. And then to upgrade this card again on a future turn, you would move it into the square section and receive the square, square reward. But the minimum requirement must be met already to be able to move that into the highest most level. Unless there's a sieve that changes that. Unless there is a sieve that changes that. Now, once you have gotten to the top level, you can never increase a tech card any further. This is the maximum that it can be upgraded to. Okay. Right. You might be able to claim the bonus again based on other cards, though, so that's... That you, is know, you can... There, there are things on these tracks that allow you to get rid of cards. Uh, in that case, those are tech cards. So if you dump three of them, you get tech, uh, victory points. But then, if you had some other card that upgrade that gave you something on the top track and those aren't there anymore, then you don't have that. So there is I think I'll just have to become clear as we play. It, it, it is. This is all... These are at the end... Those types of things are all at the end of the track. Like there you get rid of tiles uh, and they're not even they're tiles that are just not even uh, put on the board yet um, this one is you get rid of three tapestry cards those are all end of the game type of things anyway last thing we discussed military and conquest i mentioned that there are a maximum of two sp two pieces that can be on any space if a player is already on a space and you are wishing to conquest that space you may move in. If you are the second player, the first player is overthrown. They remain on that space, but they are no longer in control of that space. No one else can move into that territory, and that card now, that space now belongs to whoever moved in second. But, as I mentioned earlier, there was a card that you would keep in your hand. This is called the trap card. If a player happens to be taking this action to overthrow you, you will play the trap card immediately, and this reverses the situation. Mm. You will remain in control. They will be overthrown, and that space, again, cannot be taken. That looks a lot better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this card can be played as a tapestry card on its own. What does it do then? It's only worth 10 victory points to you. Oh, that's not bad either. Just for setting it there? Just for sitting okay. there as part of your era. Hmm. Yeah. I guess if you only have, don't have any choices. The That's... trap civilization, or the trap era, I guess. <laughs> that is the game. We will continue playing until all four of us have completed the fifth era. Now, that may be at different times, as you are not required to move into a new era when a previous player does. So you may have enough oh. resources to continue to work in an older era. Okay. Any cards that you have in here for previous eras are no longer relevant and do not apply to your civilization. Only the current era does. Okay, should we talk about our special abilities that come with our particular civ? We should. Let's go ahead and start with you, Jackie. You have traitors there, I believe it is. Okay, so it says, at the beginning of my income turns, I can place a token from here. What does that mean? Start with one four. Oh, one of these. Yeah. On uh, on a map matching one of these descriptions. Either it's an empty territory, which gains me a victory point per adjacent territory that an opponent controls. Mm. And if an opponent later conquers that territory, I gain the benefit of any unselected conquer die as if you rolled it. Mm. So well, like if this is, this is here, and then Rusty, mm. for some reason you're there, and then Rusty comes into that, you don't topple it, but what happens is, is he'll roll the dice for moving a, a putting an outpost And I'll get in there. the one he doesn't choose. Exactly. Okay. Or I can move into it, hmm. or I put it in a territory with exactly one opponent outpost token and nothing else and gain the benefit on the territory. Oh, cool. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. I am the architects. The architects value an organized and structured capital city. <laughs> Each time I complete a district, which these are the nine districts, if all income buildings in it are identical, I will gain one additional resource. 
there must be at least one income building in that district for me to be able to claim that, meaning I can't just drop down a landmark building and go, look, I'm done. <laughs> and uh, one of the things mentioned for scoring, during the wreaths, there is a symbol here that has a black house and a wreath. That is earning a victory point for every completed column and row in your capital city. With mine, when that scoring occurs, if all the buildings, the income buildings, are in that row or column are identical, I will receive two victory points rather than one. We will all receive one victory point normally for a completed row or column hmm. during the scoring phase, during the income phase. All right, I'm a craftsman. I've got a track on my board. It's actually... Uh, I'll just read it. Uh, the craftsmen want to create a wonder of the world, a massive statue. You may place income buildings here as an alternative to your capital city. You must place each building on the lowest available space in the column of your choice. You don't need to finish the column before starting another. As you cover uh, a benefit, gain it immediately. This grid counts as part of your capital city for building related benefits, but it does not score for the completed rows and columns. So I guess I can do like this and then I would get the, the bump on coin. the gold coin. Yeah. You will also still score for those buildings if you earn victory points at some space right. that says you get victory points for each of the houses you've built. Interesting. I'm the Merrymakers. Uh, they, uh, the Merrymakers frequently celebrate love and life. The longer the festival, the better. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I start at the bottom, uh, one player at the bottom each track, and at the beginning of my income phase, this is on this part of the tur income turn, I can choose one of the tracks to move the cube up on and take that benefit. Um, and that is that. So I have goods, I have territories, um, tapestry cards, and technology cards, and terrain, I get to, at the very top, I get to place a terrain, and I also get to roll the science die. And then the other track is just victory points, 5, 10, and 15. That is that. Nice. Now we will play until the fifth era. There are some bonuses out mm. here. They're known as achievements. Anyone who gets to the end of one of the tracks will get to place their piece first for 15 victory points, the second person to get to the end of track, 10, and then five. You may never claim an achievement twice. Mm. The first person to topple two opponent's outposts will receive 15, then the second 10. They do not have to be the same opponent. And lastly, the first two people to conquer the central island there will receive 10 and five appropriately. Okay. Do you get these every time or just once? Just once. Okay. Oh, what? You didn't want me to have some kind of advantage out on the board? No, man. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. We randomly chose Jackie as the starting player, and she will start us off. Uh, because she has no ability, your first turn has to be the income turn, and we will follow these steps one by one. We do not activate your civilization on the first era. We do not place a card. Tapestry card. We do not increase, uh, upgrade tech, any yeah. of our tech cards. We do not receive the victory points from our income, but we do receive income itself. We all have the same starting, so you should receive one coin, one worker, one food, and one culture. So I just move everything. Move everything over one space. So we'll all do it. Might as well just all do it. We all can just do that. Boom. And we are now all in the maker of fire. Additionally, we'll notice on the farms and the armories, you receive a territory tile to add to your supply and a tapestry card. Does it just face up? Those will just go face up. So. Oh, okay, so everybody can see what they... Yeah, I'm not really sure why they do that. <laughs> okay. And you will also receive a tapestry card. This goes into your hand, and you can read that, and you'll keep that secret, and on a future era, you will play that. Okay. All right. 
I will also receive a tile and a tapestry card. Thank you. All right. Here I go. And that. And Jackie now has a choice. Does she wish to move into era two or does she wish to move up one of the four tracks? Uh, I think I want to move up a track. So let's do the science track and that's going to be, I choose anything, right? Oh yeah, choose any good. Any yeah, good. any good. All right, uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> my mother's gonna be shocked. I'm giving up food. <laughs> <laughs> now, you will okay. move into the first space. This shows rolling the die with an X. What this means is you will move whatever the symbol is without gaining its benefit nor the bonus. Where is the safe place to roll here? Oh whatever. More science. More science. So you will move into the second section without a cost. Okay, and that is that. No is benefit. That. No benefit. So I lose. Oh, so can I she not pay for the bonus? No, she cannot. Oh, <gasps> Did she have to move, even she, though she rolled it? Could she choose not to move? She can. Yes. If you oh, don't I can't. Wish so I would. I want. Uh, is it more advantageous to move? Well, or if you to move into it, you get to do those things. So it gives you an additional yeah, tapestry so, card and the option of spending. So I think, and I don't want to do it. Okay. All right. So you will not move. I will. Move in the technology track, I will give up the culture to move in the technology track. I will take the transistors. Already? I don't think you're really ready for transistors. <laughs> <laughs> this will He's got fire X. and transistors. Yeah. And a new card comes out. Huh. Okay, I'm green. I'm going to go here. Okay, gold and just get two tiles. Um, I will go here on the tech track. I am blue, I guess. Yep. I'll spend a good. And I will get a card. I would like to... Uh, hmm. Harumph, I say. Yeah. You may take from the top of the deck as well, if you wish. Right. Yeah, give me the top card. Thank you, Jackie. Hey. What'd you get? Dynamite. This is dynamite. dynamite. It's literally dynamite. dynamite yeah. Now, you may wish to blue, move the blue piece rather than the green piece on the tech track. Did I do the green? Yeah. That's cool for me. <laughs> <laughs> do that. So now we come back to me, and yep. now I can spend a good and do the thing. So well, It's going right. to cost two goods to do the benefit as well. Yeah, I'm, I want to do it. I'm just trying to figure sure. out what uh you guys seem to be heavy on tech so i'm going to nope. spend the uh, don't assume anything i'm going to <laughs> don't assume I'm, anything i'm doing every i'm going to try to do every track all right so <laughs> I'm, I'm moving there so One i'm getting a what's a green that's the that's tapestry. Tapestry tapestry. card that lets you that what you might play for the next yeah. era it might right. be a better card too right. for... okay and then i'm rolling where the no you, know, you oh, will actually okay. wind up building building one of the gray hmm. homes now, you may build that anywhere okay. in your capital city. That is not a, um, covered by another building or an orange dock. Okay. So, um, I will build it right there. Excellent. I am going to move up again on the tech track. Mm, there I'm, you go. He's I'm, yellow. We'll spend two, one for the movement and one for the bonus. That will get me, as well, a tapestry card. And I will build one of the markets, if I can actually pick it up. And I will place it here in an attempt to try to close off one of these faster mm -hmm. to get an extra good. Okay. There I go. Do to do, do. Pay for moving. Place a tile. Do this one here. All right. That gets me three points. Mm-hmm. Does. One, two, three. And I get this guy right away? Yes, you do. You receive the income of one worker. One worker. Okay, and then I am going to pay so the one worker goes back down again to get another tapestry card. And that is all I can do. Okay. Oh, I'll go here. I don't really want to do that, but it'll cost me two if I want to do those things. So I'll do that. Um, I get a tapestry card. Please be something good for the next round. Ugh. 
Mm, terrible. And I will place one of these right here. So I'm gonna spend my gold and then I go place a tile. No, you're not placing it. You just get your dent. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So this one would get me two more tiles when I move on to it. All right. When the, you when you place it through the exploration action. Oh, which looks I, like okay. Green. So it's the next thing, and then this one it lets me build a get. A thing? That is Take correct. A thing. It, it okay. allows you to build an armory. A thing. A thing. Well, it's a Phoenix thing. Thingy. Those are armories. Okay, an armory, and that one would get me gold. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I will spend my last resource, and I will follow along in the exploration track. And I will move the yellow into there and acquire two tiles. Hmm. I need to get on my... Statue. Do you? I think so. We're like Don't as you? quick as possible. Okay. I think. Um, I think the best thing to do is I'll move one up on the tech. I will pay for that, and I will take the top one that's the five pointer for that big building eventually, okay. hopefully. And um, that is. That's it. Hmm. I'll go up one on the uh, science. And I'll spend that good, wherever that's at. <laughs> and let's roll it good here. Good luck. Sci uh, Age of Discovery. Am I on that already? No. Not yet. Good. All right. All right, so I, since I don't have any more resources, right. now I need to go to the next era. So, with the income turn, the first item we're going to do is deal with your civilization, which has a power there. Okay, so my ability is at the beginning of my income turns, I can place a player token on an empty territory or a territory with one opponent outpost. If, I, if it's got one opponent outpost, I would get the benefit on the territory. And if it's just an empty territory that's adjacent to where one of you guys are, I get a victory point. And if somebody later moves onto it, I'll get the benefit as if I had rolled it. So I'm going to go over there. Perfect. And I get one VP. One VP. Red will move up. So we've dealt with your civilization. We will now have you play a card into the second era. That, okay. So that is a second? Oh, okay. Perfect. We are now starting so the second era. So that um, lets me choose an advancement track. My neighbors and I can advance once on that track. Only I gain the benefit and can pay to gain the bonus of any. Okay, so I don't want to move somewhere that has a bonus because I can't pay for it right now. I'm going to move up on the technology track, and you guys can all move if we want to. If you want to. But you don't get the benefit. Right. Mm. I want that building, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Tricky, tricky. I will not move. Well. You want the building. I want the building. I think I have to do that then. And I get. You get a card. You get to choose one of those. I get to just choose one of these. Can be the top one of the top of the deck or any of the faces. Yeah, I'll take the top one. And that will immediately go in here. <laughs> I, I, I just discovered oil, but I'm doing the lithium <laughs> ion battery. Right. <laughs> High tech. Clever. So that was your playing of the card. That's the second phase. The third is upgrading a tech card if you have any in your tech. So now you will Boop. upgrade that one space by sliding four it up, victory points. and you will earn four victory points for that. That was cool. That, wor that worked quite well for you. You will I also did. receive victory points for any exposed wreaths in your income area. Okay, so Yours, I have two, right? Yes. The first one is uh, right, but the first one here is number of tech cards which is you one. have in your. Civilization, and then the second one is for uh, columns or uh, rows on your uh, capital well, city, which you okay, don't, don't have yet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're kind of there. You're getting close, right? The, <laughs> that's close there, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not, but not, not yet. yet. And then, lastly, you will receive the goods on all the visible. So you get so one of that. each plus one extra worker. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. And you are now in the second era. Did she get you, the bonus good for? Uh, being the first to do that she, between you and I? She did not. Okay. So she gets an extra good. You'll notice that underneath the card, 
was the symbol for one good if you were the first of your neighbors to place that card. You are the first, actually, on the entire table, so you receive one good. Okay, let's get some culture. <laughs> Welcome to the second era. So I'm having to move into the second era as well. I do not have any powers on my civilization. I am playing capitalism. In this era, when I gain income, I will gain two victory points for every coin I gain, and whenever I gain a market, I will gain a coin as well. I will then move to the upgrade. The upgrade, I will gain a uh, coin, but that does not trigger that because it's not part of income. And I will then collect one of each of these. I have one victory point for my card. Okay. Cool. And that's... Now, did you not get a victory point, two victory points for one of those? Oh, I would receive two victory points for that, yes. Okay. I still have a good, so I'm going to not move anywhere uh, up the tra this track. I really don't like my choice of tapestry cards so far, so I will... I'm green, I'll go up there and take a tapestry card. You don't get the bonus, though? Is that okay? I don't, because I don't have yeah, okay. enough goods. But I don't like what I have to choose from in my right. for my next era, so that was my turn. Okie dokie. Um, I ha I'm out of goods, so I will be doing my stuff is in order here. So, first thing I will do is choose one of these tracks to move up in. I will go up in the coins. Then I take my next step is this is all out of whack as it normally is. I'm going to play my tech card. Unfortunately, these are both kind of like slightly advanced ones. This one is the Age of Wonders. I think Nikki really wants this one. Probably. Um, when played, gain two goods if you have the fewest landmarks. If you have the most landmarks, gain 12. Otherwise, advertise gain one good and six victory points. We're all tied, so I get a good, and I will do that one, and we and I get six victory points. Okay, and I put that there. I am not the first. And then I upgrade a card, which that one goes there. I get to do an outpost. So I will put one here, and I collect any victory points, which I don't... Oh, I do. I have one victory point for a card. And then I take income, which is one of everything. Oh, no, two of these, and one of each of these. Now, because that's an actual conquest symbol, part of the conquest action is rolling the dice. The oh, really? Yeah, that's oh, a conquest wow. symbol. Now, what Jackie had done earlier was a benefit that was not part of the conquest. It was placing an outpost. Okay. It, I'll get that when, if and when somebody sure, sure. goes on there. Probably. I'm not going to help you. I, I know. <laughs> okay. So I get to either score victory points for where I'm at, which isn't terrible, or I get the good on a tile, which I haven't placed. So I get two victory points. Mm hmm Okay. Which is what you don't choose. You always choose the, you always choose the good in the beginning, I think. Big, I think you're yeah. right. It's more it's more goodies. Okay, your turn. All right, so now I'm in era two. I'm going to spend one chubby guy to... <laughs> Worker. To, yeah, to uh, go put a, one of my tiles down. And uh, it seems like it might be a good idea to have... If she had placed this here, could she expand from that position? Does that not count as an outpost, I guess? That's not an outpost. I wonder what that actually... Uh, traders, okay, that's a trade Trader. post. Oh, that's interesting. Thematically, it makes sense. So Okay, so if I do this... That's worth two... Three. three. Yep. Yeah, Why so is that three? three? Land, because mountains, 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 or water. Oh, right? mountain, mountain, mountain. Yeah. So I'm matching everywhere, so that's a nice move, and then I can spend an extra th um, thing, and I get... What's the bonus over there? You the bonus is the tapestry, tapestry card. card. I'm going to do that, so I will spend There you go. a star. Okay. And you put down Culture. one with two. Yes, yeah, so you get two tiles. You get two tiles. Okay. That's nice. That gives me some options. Right. Okay. I'm going to follow suit. I will spend a food. I will move up. I will place. Jackie keeps putting them on top of the things. <laughs> I know. I can't, and then I can't see them. <laughs> I will place this tile 
I will only get two out of it, but that's quite all right. I will place this tile here. That will be two victory points for matching. Green? Oh, uh, yellow. You're yellow. Thank you. Guess I could look. <laughs> and I will also be able to build a market. Uh, for building a market, I will receive a coin as right. part of my capitalism. I am going to the next era. My craftsman has have nothing special to do on that first chart. So my next thing is choosing my th deal, which is going to be a democracy. And what I do right now yeah, is I draw three tapestry cards, and then I can discard any number of tapestry cards from my hand to gain two victory points. So these two are going because they are terrible. And then I'm going to read these three I just drew and decide. Oh, I didn't like that one. Um, that one, that one. All right, I am getting rid of one, two, three, four, so eight points. All right. Where do you want me to put them? We'll discard discarded. Them off to the side. So that was just laying out my card. The next step is upgrading this, so I get five points for my stock market thing, and then I get one point for this card. Um, nope, no that. buildings. I get a tile, uh, and <laughs> get another tapestry card. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think I did that. On my, I don't think I got the tile. Or did I do? Did, I, I did do that. Don't think I did either. I agree. Yeah. I think neither of us did. Okay, I need that, and I need a tile. That's silly. We need. Gotta make sure we go through that list carefully. Sorry. Yes. Oh, quite all right. Did That's you? our fault. Well, that I didn't hey, catch it. I was card. watching. All right, now I give myself income, and unfortunately, I didn't build oh, any no houses. I get those later. So. So nothing exciting for me. They all just go up to the one space again. I'm done. I will go here for a good, and I will probably spend another good to let me make sure it's the right track. I, I kind of I'll do that because I don't really want to. I want to save those in case I need them. Um, so I get to place a tile, which will be this one here. I get a food. I'm gonna go ahead and. Cool, cost you aggressive. Good. Okay. Alright, I will spend a good. I will move up on the technology track. And uh, instead of a tech card, I will build another uh, market. I will place that there. A uh, couple of things happen. I receive a coin for having built a market. And then also, Too I've good. completed this one, so I will receive a good. And good. W if I complete a district with the same, I receive another good. Fantastic. All, <laughs> All right, here I go. Vroom. I am going to choose the house building action. Let me pay for that, by the way. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to put it here on my craftsman card. And that immediately gets me a, a gold. A coin. A coin, sorry. I think of them as like a purse. That was cool. my turn. Um, I'm going to go here. It's going to cost me a good and a gold. And I get the forge, I believe, is what it is. And I will put that up here. Metallurgy, you have to wipe and do one. So we will wipe these three. Mm. Oh, time travel. <laughs> wow. That's what does the time travel one do? Oh, interesting. Air conditioning or time travel, Lincoln. Or a, a monument. What's the time travel one, Rusty? The time travel one, uh, on the first one, gives right. you a coin. But the second one, you revert back one space on either the exploration track or the military track, but don't take the uh, benefit or the bonus. That's so you can do it again on something. Mm -hmm. hmm. Give me the air conditioning. It seems like that's a... <laughs> since we're benefiting from it today, <laughs> I will... So another one comes out, right? That's correct. 
what's the that's a card. this this symbol here is when you receive this benefit you will get an additional civilization that will be added next to your existing civilization so you will have two civilizations working from that point forward more to keep track of that good or bad <laughs> could be very good okay i will be following suit with lincoln and moving in even though i will not get that i will take a gold and a uh, culture to pay for that i will sweep these <laughs> sorry no time travel no time travel I will then hmm. claim the ammonia, and a new card comes out. Ammonia. All right. Uh, I'm still. I'm going to advance to two. So I pay a mushroom. Food. A food and a worker, and I take. A food or whatever you want. And I take. This one mm -hmm. looks like it matches. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to place it. It covers up four spaces. What's going to be a good place? Right there. And um, then I am going to place a tile right here and get three points for that. And then um, where? Sure you don't want to move that houses. one? Houses. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to, I need to start working on other tracks. So this house is, is clean. Is clean. Is going to go. All right. There we go. Worker. Done. I guess I'll go here. So it's a gold, a gold, and this, or something. Um, and let me do, yeah. And then um, pay a good to uh, upgrade one, and I'll do that. And that gives me another good. I'm going to move up on the science track. All right. So I will pay uh, food, and then I roll this, but I do or, or I or. can take, or I can put another this, which That's is right. what I want to do. So I'm going to put this there. Like a little row of track, even though they're a track housing guy, I'm going <laughs> to kind of follow suit. <laughs> All right. I am going to pay a gold and a food. It's coin and a food. I will move up again on the technology track. I will build uh, this time. I'm going to get a worker next income phase. I will place this here. Uh, I will then also pay for the upgrade. I will upgrade the ammonia to another home, building a farm, and I will place that there. And that is my turn. Okay. I move up on the technology, and I am going to pay a gold for that, and I'm going to take the currency, but I am going to place it on here which gets me a technology card. Jeez. I you guess... You can also take blind from the I'll top. take blind. Good luck. Yeah, well, that's good for me. Done. I will go into the next era. So the first thing I do is I um, pick one of these to move up on. I'll do this to get the goods. And it's one food and one worker. And then um, I'm going to place my card, which is feudalism. I'm going back from the Age of Wonders into feudalism. And I gain a good, or a good, or three for each of my landmarks. So I will just take a good. And then um, I advance a uh, tech. So I'll do this. Can we advance that tech yet? Oh, so level two? Yes. Yeah. So I get to put out one of these buildings. I'll put that here. Then I get victory points for anything. I've got two of these. Of the technology cards, I have 
no co columns or uh, rows. Uh, then I take the goods, so I get two coins, two workers, one food, one culture. I also get two goods, don't I? You get two yeah. goods. Hmm. You also receive a tile and a technology. Oh yeah, we do that again. Card. Yeah, Oof. hopefully this is good. Ugh, these are terrible. And, uh, <laughs> and, a, and a tile. I'll take that. Cool. All right. If I move up here, that's going to give me a victory point for every technology tech card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would draw another tapestry card. Yeah. And I would get a landmark. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to do that. So I just get one victory point for this, for the one yes. card that I have. Yeah. Okay. I get a landmark that takes up four somewhere. You'll also pay a worker and a good. Okay. And you'll get a tapestry card if that hadn't been handed to you. No, it wasn't. No, it hasn't. Okay. Uh, I will spend my last two to move up. I will earn victory points for each of the armories I have, which is none. And I will build one more market, which will go here. I will earn two more victory points for having... Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'll earn a coin for having built that market. Uh, and I will spend that to get a tech card, which I will draw... <laughs> Nobody likes what's out there. ...blind, and that will get me a light bulb. All right. That is my turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go up on the military track, finally. You are green. Green. Place... A guy here, and pay for it, of course. Done. I'm gonna go to the next level as well, and um, I do the same with as Rusty. I get victory points for these, which is zero. I can place a building. I will do that here, and I. We'll spend a good, maybe, for a um, card. I certainly could use tech cards. Let's see. Yeah, those are terrible. <laughs> Give me one off the top. I mean, they're not. What do I know? Uh, hey, concrete. I like concrete. Well, it looks like I'm going to the next era. Okay, so I get to... Oh, yeah, I get to place one of my trading posts uh, at either empty or adjacent to whomever so I'm gonna gonna make everybody's life kind of but you should pick the one that has, has the goods, a thing so. on it yeah mm -hmm. so which, there's a good here too there's a mushroom yep, here too. and yeah. there's a no that's a building we well, should be able too. to place yeah. a building Actually, yeah if Not that I'm. She's gonna make everybody's, but she's now picking on Nikki. Twice. You're, you're, well, I'm you're, not really picking on you because I'm just, I, I'm just riding off of your I know. abilities. But so. if I cannot help you, that's my plan. <laughs> but I have, but I have the, Oh yeah, you've got the birds. I've got the kitty. <laughs> so you learn a victory point for that. Uh, that's exciting. That is exciting. Okay, I did that. Now I do my income. Uh, you'll move okay. on to your card. Yeah. Placing a tapestry out of your hand. All right, I'm going to monarchy. So this mm. era, whenever I place an income building in my capital, I get three victory points. Sweet. Nice. I've gotten nice cards here. Now you'll do an upgrade if possible, which you uh, can. But I can't because we're not in the right. Level four, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we're not in the right era. I'm, we're short by one. And um, then I will get my income. Points. points. You'll receive the victory points, points next for the wreaths up in your open space. So you have one tech card, so you'll receive one victory point. And do you have any completed rows or columns yet? No. Not mm -hmm. yet. Nope. So nothing for those yet. Bummer. Okay. Uh, then I just get my... Mm -hmm. Everything goes up one, except that I get... Two workers. Mm -hmm. What? Just one more, right? Mm -hmm. And then... Tile. A tile and a, a card, a, ta um, a tapestry card. Tile on the tapestry card. A lot of tiles. I gotta do something with that. Okay. I am out of action, so I will also be moving to the next era. Nothing in my thing. I will be coming the mercantilism. 
uh, this era. When Merc- I'll be coming the Merc- Mercantilism. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you gain income, you may convert uh, food to any other resource. For each food you convert, gain two victory points. I am not the first in there, so I don't get any benefit from that. Um, card upgrade. I can upgrade this to get a coin. I then get victory points. I have one, two, three times cards. Nine, nine victory points for my tech cards. Uh, victory points for completed ro- um, rows. I do get one victory point for a completed row. So I've received that, and now it's just the income, which is one, two, three, four, two, three, four, two workers, two food, and a culture. And uh, when I gain income, you may convert food to any other resource. So I will convert one food to one worker and gain two victory points for that. I still have the income of a tile and a tapestry card. Okay. Thank you. And that is my entire turn. Okay. I'm trying to squeeze out one more, but I only have a... Single good. Single good. Uh, I'm going to move up the science track, pay my last good. I don't have to take this if I don't want to, right? No. Science. It moves you up the science. But I don't get any of that. That is correct. Done. It's your turn. I'm done. Oh, wow. You didn't. Uh, yeah. I thought you might do this. No, thing. Okay, I had so nothing. I'm going to go to the next phase here. That's a good and two things. And um, maybe I ought to do it this way, just in case I want to use my workers. I white to, oh, I get the building, which is great. I'll put that right here. I've been planning all along, hoping to get it. Finally have one column filled. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that fills it. I get a good, too. I will take um, that, my culture. Good. Okay. All right. You All right. still have two cards to acquire. Purge. Lincoln does. This canned mm-hmm. food. Wow, look at that one. And then the other one is the printing press, which would give me tapestry card. I'm only going to get one more. Now, this symbol up here means uh, you would play a tapestry card on top of your current era, replacing yeah, that if card. it gets that far. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll take that one. What the heck? All right. Maybe and, I'll get something in. And you'll get in. one more because it's two cards that. Oh, okay. Um, hmm? Sewer so and plumbing. I'll take canned food. Canned food. That looks like cream of mushroom soup cans, It too. does look like Campbell's or something like that. <laughs> Maybe tomatoes. It's tomato soup, Nikki. I think okay. there's actually a tomato on it. All right. Yeah, well, well I'm just thinking since the symbol for our food yeah, is a mushroom. Yeah, it should be cream mushroom. <laughs> okay, Jackie. Okay, I am going to spend two over here right. to get uh, another armory. So I'll do, I don't think it matters very much. Yep, I get a card, (laughs) a lot of cards, and I get to place a building. So I get three victory points for playing a building in this era, in my capital city. I'm going to start moving up on the science track. Let's give this a shot. You go. Exploration. Exploration. Um... Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I will. I'll go ahead yeah. and take I'll take that movement. Why not? All right. I am going to number three. So Third era? Third era. So look at your Civ card. There's nothing yeah, to do there. Nothing right? to do on my Civ card, so that's, that's boring. done. I know. But I know if I could get more there. houses going on or buildings. Uh, buildings. Okay. Now I play my tapestry, correct? Mm-hmm. Tapestry. Do do a steam tycoon. Uh, when played, invent a face up technology and upgrade it. So Ooh, it's one of those. So I take one of those and I immediately upgrade vaccines, it. Vaccines, sewage and plumbing, <laughs> sewers and plumbing, I guess. Sewage and irrigation, and you can see what you can gain on there. These are goods. And then, then a building, and the other one is a science upgrade with no benefit, uh, and then a sci- ben- uh, victory points for your, your science level. Yeah, I'm not. Game. Yeah, 
Let me see, what do I want to uncover? I haven't done any of those. Do you have a farmer and armory. And that it was be that. Farmery. I'm gonna do my f farm. And it immediately upgrades. So you get an extra good. So I get a food for that one. Um, then your neighbors, right and left, invent uh, from, the top, the, from the, the top of the deck. So right so then left, you, it's first you. Both of you. Yeah, it's, I think it's right then left, so then I get the next one. That's weird that there's a timing thing there. Hey, I get clocks. I get zeppelins. Zeppelins. <laughs> yeah. We're going all over the place. I don't uh, think that the space is the only thing that is at the end of the track. We can't just miraculously invent space. And space is a tile that is actually part of one of the tracks that wasn't discussed. It's part of the exploration track. And that's in the last two spaces. These you acquire, you'll get three of them, and just lay one out next to you. It does not have to be conquered. It is yours and yours alone. It has some special benefits. And they can only be dealt with in the last two. Oh, spaces. so you can you can you could develop all three of them at the very end if you paid a good on that final advancement. You Extra could. good. Neat. Yes. Okay. So that was only my step two. Right. Now I'm gonna upgrade. Uh, a tech. A tech. You gonna go for the one with the building? I'm gonna go for the one with the building. So this goes here, and I get that green, tall banking the, building. Yeah. I think it's a stock market. That's going to cover four. I want it. It, here. It, can't, it can't go over there. No, you no. can't. No, okay. it's only That'd the little nice. guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess it couldn't anyway. It'd be on top of the other. It'd be awesome because then I get all four of those right. upgrades right away. No. Uh, there we go. And now uh, it's the things in the laurels. So I have three tech cards. Three so the three, three points. points. Uh -huh. I haven't completed a row or a column, so nope. Um, I get a tile, mm -hmm. and, a and I get card. a tapestry card, okay, uh, and that was it for the laurel stuff, and then I could take my goods, so. You get one, two, two coins, two workers, one, two, two food, one, and two, one culture. And one culture, and I'm done. So uh, I go to the age of, I was in the age of rubber. I'm not even reading these things. We've got pottery, carpentry, stone tools, metallurgy, glass, steel, rubber, and plastic. I'm going to move up to plastic. Plastic. That's going to cost this plus these probably, I guess. Uh, I get to build a building, one of these. Uh, that'll fill up a second column. Hooray! And then um, I get victory points for those, and I have three on the board, so I get three victory points. And I can pay a good to upgrade. I think I'll just do the building, do this one here. So I'll pay the good for that. And I get to place another one of those buildings. So I'll do that. That fills up another, I get another good. So you'll pay a good and then you'll get another. So yeah. Um, Pay a good, get a good. So let's just leave it as w where it's at. And then um, that is that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move up the technology track. I'm going to... Spend a good? Yes. And that will get me uh, this, right? If you I spend additional good, you got to yeah, spend two good. Spend, I did, did that. Okay. So I'm going to put this there get another card, but I think that's it. I am going to move up on the science track, spending a good. It will be a coin. I will take a tapestry card. You got it, Rusty. Slightly out of your reach. Just a little bit. And I will then spend another good to build another house. And that will go... You got a column, too. Oh, you scored the last time, didn't you? I did sco score one, yes. And that is my entire turn. Okay. I move up on the military track, please. And I get one of these things. Okay. Moving the military here, which allows me to upgrade a, a, uh, one of my technologies. I'm going to do this one so I can upgrade. Is that, is that upgradable? To, uh, somebody in level two? Yep, somebody's in two, right? Yep. Uh, this uh, farmhouse. 
And I'm going to take the 10 points here for my cool. craftsman thing. Cool. And there's a cost for that bonus. Fair. Yep. yep. Done. Perfect. Awesome. And it's me again. Okay. I am, I think. I'll spend a single good and do the building. This building here, spend a single good, move that, put it on the board, it'll be right there. That reveals more food for the next time. Okay, Jackie, your turn. Okay, I'm just gonna move here, yep. and I'm gonna build another. Pay the one good. Yep, that's my last good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get three VPs for Building in my nice. capital city, this era, and that's all I can do right now. All right. I will move along the tech track one more time. That's one coin and one of each of those for a total of three goods. I will move, I will sweep these three and build two tech cards. I will... Oh, assembly line. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I think I will take anesthesia. Huh. And what's that one? The compass. The compass. I will take the assembly line just because it looks interesting. What this would allow me to do is take the take, top row one. Take any top row one and use it, and then this would allow me to take any middle, middle row nice. once I get to there. And that is my turn. Thank you, P. Yeah, this was better move. I'm moving up. Science. Science. Take, taking another one of these. Okay, I'll read it later, and I will pay for first moving. Mm -hmm. Do I want to pay food? I will pay. Uh, yes, pay the coins. And then I am going to pay to build a house. So I will do it with this guy here and a house. And I put it here. Done. Okay. I guess I will spend this plus two goods to go up here. I get to advance one card. And I think it'll be that one. And you'll receive the reward on that. Right, which is just an advancement, which is the building. I don't get the other things right. So, um, okay, so that building is this one. Put it there. And then um, I get one of the middle row ones, which I really like. That'll be that one. I'll take the, the remaining uh, market, I think is what these are called. I think those are markets, yes. So I get another good. And that's because you completed that district. Correct? Yes, I'm sorry, I didn't oh, say it that oh, clearly. No, that's, yeah, yeah. It's all right. And that is that. I need to go to the next era, which is going to get me three, three absolutely. goods. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now the question is since I have not managed things very well, which card to play? What? You've got better cards than I do. I'm almost positive these are not great. I <laughs> do have good cards. I will just go ahead and put a trap out there for points right now. Oh wow, See what 10 happens. points, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. So, I'll do that, then Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that yet anyway, but anyway, I'll that's fine. I'll put that fine. there, and then... Um, You'll earn a point for that. Yep, as I just get my income, right? We'll start with, so I only get one, one. victory point for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, this is for, Rose I do have it completed, yeah. so I have... You get two victory points for that. Okay, so I get two there. And then for, I have two conquered territories, so That's I get right. two, two more points. points. yep. And then I just will take my income. So one currency, two workers. You'll actually receive a oh, second currency. Two currency. Two workers, yeah, you gotta keep an eye on me at all times. Mm -hmm. No, it's hard and to track it. Two. And then you get a tapestry card and another tile. 
Great. You know, no, not that tall. That's space. We're not there yet. Not that space. Oh my gosh, we saw oh, space. Come on. I think I have enough land. That I should be able to trade them in for space. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these things? Yee. All right. This is this is not looking very promising. That's all I'm saying. Mine. Did you get the three goods for going up? Uh, oh, I did oh, not. Nice. So it will be slightly more promising. So I get three goods for having played that tapestry card first. So one, two, and uh, I want to be over there. That's food. Maybe. Cool. Okay. Okay. Where do I want to go? I'm nuts. Uh, I had something in mind and I've lost it. There it is. I've remembered mm -hmm. it now. I'm going to spend two goods and a coin to move up one more on the technology track. This will allow me to build my last market, which I will build, I don't know, here. How about that? Love that idea. Um, Fantastic. And then I will also score for all five of the markets that I have built, which earns me five victory points for yellow. Wow to 21. And do I wish to pay for an upgrade? Yes. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that, that card's not going to do me any good anymore, is it? I oh, will. Boo. Yeah, the light bulb. Boo. So I think I will move this one up. Vaccines. The vaccines, which will get me um, one of your buildings. an armory, which I will place there. And that is the end of that, because I had to pay for that. That pays for that upgrade. And I'm done. Okay. So I pay a food and something here and a food. Uh, that's only two points. That is correct. Sad, but okay. And then I will pay again for placing another farm. I am going to place it on my craftsman sheet and take a food. Nice. That's um, it. I'll do that, which helps Jackie. Um, it cost me good. I will go here. So you get oh, a, food. A, a food. And that is that. All right. I think stuff just kind of clicked into place a little. So I'm going to go over on the exploration track and uh, I'll do that. And mm -hmm. I'm going to put out one of my tiles. So I'm going to put out this one and I'll get three points, correct? Yes. Yeah. So go up to 37 and that's all I can do on this turn, yep. right? Uh, you will also receive the reward for placing mm -hmm. that tile, which is the oh, yeah. culture. Uh, culture. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm out of resources, so I'm going to begin my next era. Uh, definitely not the first. So uh, nothing here. Card. I am going into the Golden Age. This era, ignore upgrade prerequisites on tech cards. Whenever you upgrade, gain three victory points. Wow. So that means I don't have to worry about where anybody is and upgrade my cards to the next level. Uh, this also then upgrades a card. I will upgrade uh, the... I will upgrade transistors. That will get me a resource of culture and four victory points for yellow. I will then receive one, two, three times the number of tech cards I have, which is six, for another 18 victory points, which takes me to 43. Uh, I have two times rows. I have one row, so that's two victory points. I then will receive, oh, I also have 10 victory points here for having completed the entire, uh, the entire market. And... I will then receive the income of one tile, one card, two stars, two culture, <laughs> four coin, coin, two workers, and two food. All I'm right. Done. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to do, I'm going on to the next, even though I've got some stuff left. Uh, 
So I gain nothing for this sheet ever, really. Then I play my card, which is going to be diplomacy. So guess what? Everybody each gains a good. That's good. You also, and then I gain a building from my income mat, but everybody else can gain a good. Let's do that one. And I will place it over here. No, here. Which gets me another one of these. Okay. And so has everybody done that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I move to upgrading. I will upgrade this and get three points. One, two, three. And now points for this stuff. I get three points for my tech. And then two points because I do have one line finished. And then four points and seven points. And that's all the laurel stuff. And now my income is two coin, one, two, two workers, one, two, one, two, food. three, four food, one, two, three, four, and, two, and culture. two culture. You also get another territory tile and a tapestry card. Territory, tapestry. Hmm. I will move up here. I want another tapestry card like you can't believe. This is just so bad. I have some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious, they're not great. And I'll pay the good. So i got to pay that plus the good to do that. And I will put a red building out um, right there. And I think that is that. Jackie, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to explore. Just what I need another. So I get a farm, right? Hmm? No. No. no, no, no. I get a. You got to spend e two e food, a one food. food and one other good. Okay. To pull either draw or no, no both. No, you do both. You draw a tile yeah. and you place a tile. You to yeah, I don't really care about drawing a tile at this point, but. Well, you never know. It might but, give you something you want. You've got all yeah. good stuff there. I do. Well, yeah, because I realized that putting a tile is what's going to get me the stuff to keep going. going. So, um, I, don't, I have, we'll put it, and you can move on to it and get this benefit if I put it there. I, so anyone adjacent to it, well, uh, I would only claim it as far as ownership, but. I'll just go over there. I'm only gonna get, to, because I have to put it adjacent it, to my It's gotta be nice to, to what do you have, uh, when you, oh, so it can go oh. here, 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 here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I can put it, I can put it there then. And you get the benefit. Yeah. All right. So I get food. You right. will also receive one, two, three, four victory points for four matching sides. All right. Okay. But when he moves on to this, he's not going to get that right. food. It's right. I can't, you know, it's just logically, it feels as if it, he you should. ought to get it when you move on right. to it rather than when you put it down. Right. It's just a different mindset. Sure. Uh, I will spend a gold, a food, and a culture to move into the electronics age on the technology that allows me to upgrade. Oh, yeah. Any one of these, I will upgrade. I can't build anymore, so let me go ahead and just earn a point off of that. That is one point for my one building. I then also get the benefit of one in the middle, which I will then build another armory, which I will place there. And that is my entire turn. Okay. Exploration. So food and something else. Or food. Food and food. Food and some and something else. And I take a tile, okie doke, and I place this. I get ten no, you, that's later. When you, yeah, when you okay, start. and then I get five because I'm putting right, it here right now. Right now. 
then I'm going to pay again to place a tile. And that, what do I want to pay with? Food. Uh, and, okay. work this way one two two or three three three, three. so three that's definitely three one two three and then I take the culture now I do realize I forgot to do something I always forget the cards here when I upgraded I was supposed to get three points okay so. I'm gonna spend the two goods and do this or excuse me one good and I'm going to explore, or uh, whatever the heck it is, um, and get the ten points for that. Um, so Do you, you put a cube here? Mm -hmm. So, so we remember. Do you take the ten now? Yeah. Oh, for getting to the center, yeah. right? Um, so this will give me. I'm trying to decide what order this makes sense to do. Those um, are undiscovered tiles. So those are those. Oh, so I'm going to get a point for each of those? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan, unless I get another, because I don't get another tile for going over there. So I'll do that. It's going to cost me two. One red uh, and whatever else. One of yeah, whatever else. one whatever. So I'll do a gold, because I'm not really using that. And that'll get me five, five. victory points. And one, a worker. Two, three, four, five. And a worker, worker. on your. Whoa, there you yeah. go. Okay, that's my turn. All right. Additionally, you also claim the building, the landmark building there for okay. exploration. No, it's uh, red. It's this thing. What happened to the how, previous building? No, no that's it's the first one. one. It's the first one. It's the first one. Okay. Uh, so it's how a many four spaces? By four. It's yeah. a four by four. Okay. So I will put that. So I really did not plan this well. Um, it doesn't matter at this stage. I'm going to put it there. Okay. And. My turn. I think I'm going to spend a gold, move here, build another house, and it'll go there. And um, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm moving in here. I'm getting the big, huge... Well, let me pay first. So it's a food and two of something. Uh, do I want to give up that guy? can give up one of him and one of that. Okay, so I, now I've paid. I'm going to take this train station, and look at that. It fills up the whole entire thing. Nice. So I get a good back, correct? Yep. I uh, think I want to go military. M militarily? Milla, milla. And then draw two. Mm -hmm. Two. And place one. And... I will place what can get me this one. All right, so that's three points. Yes. Two, th Actually, one, isn't it three. four? Unfortunately, this is mm. forest next to grassland. Yeah, oh, that's it's not quite grassland. right. You did say there were two different color greens. Yeah. And take another culture thing. Done. Cool. Um, I'm going to go over there and move up to the next. I'm green or blue. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I would definitely want one of these. <laughs> like you can't believe. Hopefully this will be good. I got to pay the good for that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Okie dokie. Well, At least thematically it will be the end of the run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me that I can do this and just buy some cheap points, right? That Because this is going to let me discard two, two just, just for, one pair for of two, five. Yeah. So I think I will do that. I'm going to spend a worker, and I'll do a food, and I get to roll. Yeah? Yes, you do. And you'll get uh, the benefit of this one, because there's no X underneath. Exploration. I don't have to pay to move there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to get two points one, two. for the conquered territories. And then I am going to be able to pay, and but I can't pay the extra good to get a farm, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna put that 
there. Cool. All does right. That, does that give you a completed column? I can't no, see. No, not quite. I still need. It's close. She's got one uh, whole row. So I think I just I needed to hit focus on a strategy a little earlier. Yeah. You do also still have the ability, if you wish, to oh, yeah, discard. You will, yeah. You oh yeah. Cards I for... definitely <laughs> want to do that. I know you're for really jealous points. right now, oh, no, aren't you, Lincoln? Um, no. well, I'm not going to be able to do any of these, so I'm going to discard those, and I will those. get five points. Nice. Check it use. Nice. Okay. I think I'm just going to get into the military game. Why not? Right? Sure. Haven't done any of that. So I'm going to pay a worker. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to take one of my guys. And I'm going to come over here. It's just occurred to me we've not been rolling the dice after we've been conquering. Right. <laughs> I, Great. All right. I forgot all about that. I think. I mean, I don't think I did that in the game I played. I might have done it <laughs> once. Because I was like on my own little corner. So, yeah, I didn't have that in my brain. Um, well, then maybe we just roll for victory points and not the goods. Because the goods would have been valuable earlier in the game. I mean, they're still valuable yeah. now, but let's just roll for victory points. So, everybody. Jackie just Wait. did it recently. Why don't you roll first? I've done. I've got two rolls. I, only, I'm, I think I'm the only one that rolled for yeah. the entire yeah. game. Yeah, you Haven't did. Okay, so you get for conquered territories, you get an additional two victory points. Okay. There you go, Rusty. Which she would have had at the time. Yep. Five. Five. Nikki. Four. Four. And I roll twice. Shoot. Yeah. Because I'm, or, <laughs> hey, it's the same thing I had before. But well, the first one, first one you would have had I, Well, two. I already did that one, so now that would have three. Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, way over one, there. two, three, and roll again. Okay, now I'll do the other one. Come on, something better than that one. Hey, four victory four. points. All right. Uh, I had a plan, and the plan disappeared. Um, ah, yes. I am going to move in science track. Oh, yeah. I am going to choose to do one of these buildings. I am going to pay for it with some food. I will place Ike. Caramba? Yeah, I just, uh, 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 I'll go here. And that's done. Okay. Set that there. Yeah. So I'm uh, wrapping up my era. Okay, so I will move up on that track. That will let me place one more of these buildings. And it also gives me this uh, culture good. I did not take any of the victory point ones. Uh, Okay, I well, can see where I'm at. Um, and then I will play my card, which is terraforming. So that was the one that was thematically, at least in, in line, sort of. I've gone jump from feudalism to terraforming. Uh, we didn't do anything else in that time frame. We've done lots of progression, but nothing really <laughs> exciting. So on this, uh, I will be able to build, uh, my, construct my buildings on impassable locations. And what that does is it lets me um, gain five points for every time I do it. So I will try my best to do something like that. Um, and then the next thing we do is we look at uh, the upgrade one thing. I'm going to do this one. That lets me uh, score where I'm at on the upgrade, uh, the technology track where I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I get 10 victory points for that. Nice. Then I'm going to score these tracks. So I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six times three, 18 points for that. 59. Plus another 10 points for being maxed out on that track. Then I get two uh, for every oh. column or row, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, excuse me, not six. One, two, three, four, five. So that's um, 10 points, additional 10 points. Nice. And then. I get for my team sports, <laughs> I get uh, one victory point for every uh, territory that I have, uh, I'm controlling. That's four victory points. And uh, then I take my income. So I get four coins, two food, two workers, and two... Oops, to, uh, I was stacking like Nikki, it was a bad idea. And to uh, culture. I think you only moved your worker up oh, one. Oh, I think he was, he was at, at one. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna explore. Okay. So sure. I go up there. I'm gonna pay a food and a culture, and then this could, I get another tile. tile. Last thing I need, more tiles. I need to put one out, and I can pay an extra. No, you can do a farmhouse. I yeah. can do a farmhouse. Okay. Which is good because hey, I finally complete a column. So that'll give you fit four victory points when we do the final scoring. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help, but it's now nice you can do the paying for placing a tile if you want. Which is good. Which well, yeah, because it'll keep me alive. If you alive. pick an all water, that'll get you. It will also one, keep two, me alive. Or might one with maybe desert on there and some water. Well, I got I got kind of I sort of have everything because that's a little slice o desert. Right? Would so work. that will get me four. Mm -hmm. Nice. And a good. And a, uh, and a coin. Coin. Cool. All right. I will be moving up on the tech track. Might as well try to move somewhere. That will cost me two gold. I will then move up once no, on... No, no, you score the victory points on those. Oh, you're right. It's not moving, it's scoring. Excellent. Uh, science and military. Thank yes. you. No, it's uh, military and... Oh, yeah, science, I'm sorry. Science and military. Yeah, yeah. All right. That is one victory point there and three victory points there for a total of four. Fantastic. Well, I didn't even get to do it because I advanced up with this thing over oh. here. Mm. Was that it? That was my whole turn. Okay. I'm going to go one up on the military track for green, and I pay, and I'm going to do some conquering, boom, right there. And we roll the dice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this and here's... You can take the goods if you want, but victory points are probably pretty great. This thing and a question mark? What's so, the question mark? The question mark is you take the good from what you just did. Mm-hmm. Or you take the victory points, which would be uh, three victory points. It's for my... Mm -hmm. If I had more, it would be yeah. a better score. But I'm going to take the good. Sure. Why not? Okay. I'm going to go uh, the next level on the tech track, which lets me upgrade one card. And then I'm going to upgrade this card, which takes it to the top, where I will score a victory point for every building I have out, so I get an additional five victory points. Eight. And then, um, so the next thing I get to do is I get to take one of the squares because of this, and I will take the tech again, and I'm at 11, so that gives me 11 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Takes me to ninety-nine. So close. And then, uh, then I'm going to dump three cards for ten points. So those go. That puts me at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a culture and. A good. Uh, yeah, I'll do a food, I think, and I'm going to get uh, an armory to place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Could be good. if I might be get one more, and I get yep. an outpost, so yep. I'm going to... Do you have a trap Sorry. card, Rusty? Rusty. Nope. Okay, okay. So we're going to remember this time to roll yep. the dice. Yay, hey, good. Five. I like that roll. Five. All right. Five victory points. One, I'll two, take three, it. four, five. Now... Did you end my turn. did you fill in that last district there? I did fill in a district. Okay, so you get a good for that. That's good. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I need a. I guess I need food. Food. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Excellent. Um, I am going to move up one more on the science track. I will be spending my last dude and a food. Dude and a food. And I'll spend the star instead. So I will move up. Here, I will earn one, two, three, four, five, six victory points to 74, and I will get a tapestry card. And that will be my entire turn. Okay, I move up on the military track, and I'm paying. Um, so we've lost that. 
kind of good. Okay, and then I gain a worker, so that goes up. And a victory point for every uncovered tile, so six more victory six, points. Six points for that. And no, you didn't. No, I didn't conquer didn't anybody. So not yet. That would go. That's there. my whole turn. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I've repeat. I've reached AI singularity. It's gonna be two gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, what that means is I start another track. Uh, the cube. Does the cube stay there? The the rules say that it's supposed to be removed and placed into another track. And you can you can place it in the start of any of the tracks. Uh, you know what? I definitely want to do building stuff where I can potentially get buildings. This will be relatively cheap. That's three goods, and then I get one of everything. Mm -hmm. You've also done something else. Oh, fifteen points! You Hooray! Were, you were the first person. Oh, to complete a track. So that's uh, 24. Yes. He is now technically ah. considered completed on the technology track. Okay. But he now has two cubes on exploration, and he can choose which one to move. Interesting. So I'm going to go on the exploration track. I'm going to spend mm -hmm. one food, one gold, and one culture. And I'm going to draw two tiles mm -hmm. and... Then I get to spend an extra one I can place. No, you don't have to spend, you just get to place. I just get to place, place. one. Um, then the question is, now can I match this up? I can probably match it on not much, because it's got a lot of mountain. Well, that other one actually seems like it has more touching you if you go with the hut, because it's got desert, it's got water, and it's got uh, uh, grasslands. Yeah. So if you go this way, yeah, that at least gives I'll get you four. four points. OK. Yeah. Take that. That's great. And I get this building, and I do get, I get to complete a column. Awesome. So that's good. That'll, that'll, that'll help me. Maybe. Or do you want to go for another good? Oh, because I'd be completing a district. Yeah, that mm -hmm. probably makes more sense. So I'm just getting one more good for the completed district? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so I'll do that. That's pretty good. Because if you can clear that, that's 10 points. Those are great. I will be spending a culture. Oh no, I'm much further back than I thought. I'm going to spend a food. <laughs> uh, I will get a tapestry. A tapestry. A tapestry. You're here to look at the tapestries. You could spend an extra good and get an Another armor. Hut. I, yeah, I think I will do that. So I will spend a food and I will get a hut and I will place the hut there that completes another column. And that is my turn. Okay. So I'm moving the, up on the military. Okay, I'm gonna just give these to you so okay. that you remember. And then, um, so I pay a star and a good, and I'm gonna place one of these and topple the center there. And I get the five points for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And does that count as rolling the yeah, die when absolutely. I topple something? Yeah. Four victory points. Or the, the center. Nah. Yeah. Four victory so points. So four victory points. I was hoping for a good. A good, good. Now you do also have a uh, an armory to build as well. Oh, it, I thought it was an either or. No, uh, it's no, not that's a both. both. Okay, it's a both. And that helps you even there because that's another victory point. Yeah. Or it is a victory point for those locations. Actually takes one away from me. Boo. Or one of those. I will go. I'll go here. I know there was something with tiles. Oh, I see it over there. Okay, so I'll do that. That cost me a good. I get two tiles. It's my second batch of tiles here. Okay. And uh, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm moving here, which is gonna cost me that and my last food. So I guess I'll just block that off, right? You cannot place on No, no, it's, it's, oh, wait. Yeah, how do, oh yeah, you can't, you're right. I, wait, explain. 
No, no, you just it, you just export. This is just going to be another territory oh, that you just, have under control, which is fine. You want to do that. Put it over here just in case something happens over there. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> and then, okay. Then I can spend yep, the extra final, resource and I will... For your final armory, which you definitely want to do. I really want to do. And that completes another column. Nice. Uh, you will also roll your die. Because you conquered. You conquered. You conquered. <laughs> victory points. Five victory points. Five, I'll take them. So 73. Okie dokie, rest of your turn. All right. Uh, I think I only have one action left just because of the number of things I have. And that is spending my culture to move here. Uh, I will build yeah. the armory, which will get me one point. But let's see. This will go here. And that will be that. OK, Nikki. All right. Um, moving up on the military. So it's a star. or. Yeah, culture. Culture and something else. Right. And then I get to place. Yep, and you get one of these too. I don't really. Yeah, you, you gotta have do this one. To go. You gotta do that one. Oh no, there's a piece of plastic there. You can't go there. I can't. I can just boom for points. Wow. I guess for team sports at the end of the game, right? Right. Um. Yeah. So there's that. And then. Um, I'm taking the resource because then that will allow me to be able to pay for that hut and um, there's yep. that and I'm gonna put it here and I'm done it is my turn uh, I'm gonna go here and that lets me uh, e explore so I get a tile I'm not really got a lot of these so and then I get to explore if I want. So um, let's go here. Gives me a gold. Is that what I really want? Do I want tiles or gold or people? Uh, workers or food? I'll take the gold. I think if you. Oh, wait, we want to match the stuff. Up. If you rotate at one, you'll get. Everything will match up. I would no. say the other direction. But that, yeah, it's not, it doesn't matter. That's, 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 a that's the still it's, 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 it's the trees. Green, green thing. Okay. Yeah, That'll give you victory points. Yes, it will. So a gold or a coin, I keep trying to tell Nikki to say that, and a victory point, and then four victory points for that. Uh, not a victory point. That was the, the gold. Um, and that is your turn, Jackie. Okay, well, I don't really have anything I can do, except I could do that. Sure. And does this... Let me do Complete anything. another row? No, quite. Nah. I'm looking to see if it, it doesn't even give me quite another district, so. And that would be the last resource, correct? Yep. That's it. Okay. All right. No rusty. I'm already out of resources, so I am now moving into the final income turn. There is no space for a card, but I do activate this, but mine doesn't do anything during this phase. No card. I am allowed an upgrade. Uh, that would be, I'm going to upgrade this building, which will give me the victory points for the four red that I have out there. Two, three, four. Uh, I will receive the victory points for the laurels, which will start here. I've got one, two, three for my tech cards. Times six is 18. Takes me to 96. Tears. <laughs> I will receive 10 for that track as well. That takes me to 106. Yep. So that's 106. I will receive uh, two for every completed column and row. I have two of those, so that's a total of four victory points. I have two times the number of controlled territories, so which is one, so it's two victory points. And Lastly, I do not collect income on the last turn. This is my game. I now okay. sit back. It is possible I may earn passive activity, but <laughs> okay. my, my game is over. Okay, Nikki P. All right, so military track again. And that is a, a star and then two goods. All right, so oops, one, 
and one. And that gets me this building, correct? Wow. Wow. Okay. okay, that's great. Another. Oh, can it even fit? You're gonna have to go off the board. You're gonna have to go off the board. But does that complete? That completes two columns right there. Yes. That's that killer. was my whole dream in life. Okay. Uh, tank factory. Tanks. Okay. And okay. So. You get to also, you also explore. <laughs> you get to cut. You get to. Try to place conquer. an outpost, and if you topple somebody, you get to roll both dice and keep both of them. I can't topple anybody. I have, yeah, this is, can. um, boom. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Because this isn't the same type of thing. Well, my, you can go there. My yeah, whole dream yeah. was just to get that building, so. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then you get roll to roll the, the dice. dice and choose one of them. Six. I will be taking the no, six. No, she gets both. No, no, only if she topples. I didn't topple oh, she anybody. Does, so she topples. Yeah. Okay. So, so six victory points. Four, four green. green. Okay. Um. That is it. That's it. Okay. I am. Yeah. Put this back over. Let's <laughs> put back here in case something happens. Uh, I will spend a. This I'll do this here. That's a good and a good, star a uh, culture and a good. I get a worker and I get a victory point for every one of these that I have out which I have four okay and then your turn I'm retired <laughs> so uh, just income now. yeah yep. you're gonna go through each of the things okay well I get to put my last thing and um, there's no place I can go that has adjacent to three but I can get two points for that so I'm over there Two points, please. Is it adjacent to other... Um... Per adjacent territory controlled by opponents. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I get two. Then I'm going to get um, a big one. Uh, no, two points for that. I get two points for this? Yeah. Because it's there's two laurels mm -hmm. revealed there oh, on your track. Okay. So I get two. One, two. Okay. Okay. And then... So, uh, yeah, sorry, you're not going to put down a card, right? Okay, so I get one for each completed row and column, which is no, one. Get two points for each row. Two roll points. Yep. Okay, but I have one, two, three, so that's six points. Yep. One, two, three. Then I just get another four. Yep. And another. Ten. Four. Oh, no, yeah, uh, no. You've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. So that's, uh, there's two four. of those. That's eight points. There's two of those there, eight points. Oh, God, I so eight counting. points for that. And? Hold on. Yep. Okay, and then another 10 points. And then 10 for having completely uncovered the culture. Four. Five, Five. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So give me so another cube. All so. right, it's respectable. <laughs> you made the loop. Yeah. I did. I'm happy. Is that it? I th that's it? I think that's it, because I can't upgrade this. It's weird too because it's, you you jump to lithium. Well, you, that's what happens. You jump to lithium mine batteries way too soon. We weren't there well, yet. you know what part? You know what part of it was? I also didn't realize that that it, these that's the these symbols. Trip. Some of them are tiny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Rusty, you're done, right? I'm out. Nikki, it's your turn. I have one good left, and I um I can't do one good, so I'm out. Okay. So yes. I yeah. wrap up too. Yeah. So. Um, does this do anything at the end? No, I think you already did it all. Okay. It's like Rusty's was. So of. this does nothing. So that's this purple. Then um, that does nothing. I don't lay down another card. Then I upgrade my library. Yeah, you get that building so and three. So I get three. that building and three points. Oh, no, not the three points. No, no I just get that. the building from over there, the library. Is it the library? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does it, and can that's going to fit there. Okay. Um, but it doesn't, unfortunately, finish anything. There's no other place to put it to finish anything? I would love... Like on an edge or something? To finish... Yeah, over there on that edge. Like finishes. that? Then it finishes a line. Is that better? I'm, yeah. Oh, it... Well, <laughs> doesn't matter. It finishes two cubes, so I, technically I get two goods, but I'm wrapping it up, so it yeah. doesn't matter, right? Oh, yeah. Should I take oh, yeah. them anyways? You should. Yeah, it I might should be a tiebreaker. Anyways... All right, so one, two, um, that's the upgrade. Then the points. That you have on your board, yep. That I have here. 
these things, the laurels. Oh. So three points for your cards. It's three points. Okay. Then for rows and columns, I have one, two, three, four so times eight. two. Yeah, it's eight. Eight, okay. And then, do I get these again? Mm -hmm. Yep. So four, seven, and ten. That's twenty-one. And then uh, conquer territories. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, yeah. yeah right? Yep, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Um, that's it. I okay. believe so. Okay. Wow, you're so close. Oh, but... uh, yeah, I still haven't done my final turn. Though. Yeah, okay. right, he's gonna. Um, <laughs> so I will go here. That's um, good in a food. And I get victory points for territories that I control, which is only three. But that's three. Go ahead and give you that, Rusty. Um, and then I pay a good for a building, which I would do. Um, let's do this one, since it's not in the food track. And I get to put out a brown building. So I'll go here. That completes an area, so I get a good. Actually, let me, uh, let me put food up, just in case I need it for some reason. And then... Um, <laughs> That is that turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then nobody again. It's nobody. Back to me. It's yep. your turn again. Okay. Um, I'll do that one. Uh, food and a good. Food and two goods. No, food, no, food, food and, and a good. good. Okay. For a tile and a farm. Tile and a farm. Ooh, I I like that. That's pretty good. Hey, look another look all these water I've got like island nations here. Um it gives me food. Uh I don't think anything is really gonna Oh wait. Five points for <laughs> I haven't been terraforming. I'll do that now. That's five points for the terraforming. Okay, now you can pay another good to place well, right? a tile. It would be if quite a bit of water there if I can match one of the green. This one does it, right? That's pretty great. One, two, three, four. It's all of them. So I will do that. Another good. And that matches all of them. One, two, so six points. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah six yeah. points. Yeah, Jeez. six points. I have a question. Yep. Even though I'm out of the game, could he topple if he wanted to? Yeah, I've, I'm not. Okay. It doesn't really help. I mean, I. Well, I'm just. You I know. understand. And you, it's, could, it, you can. This is where I said I should have started the other track. Okay. I picked the wrong track. That's why I said I made a mistake. All right. Had I done that, I would have gotten another 15 points well, for wait, probably doing that. Wait, wouldn't you be the. Right, but I need oh, to do two did. of those. That's why I was saying if I started the track over here, I would have had two cheap uh, placing yeah. of, of uh, outposts. Um, Was that that turn now? Yeah, that's you that placed and yeah. got points. Did you get yeah. the good? Oh no, I did not. Okay, and then um, turn, turn, turn. Yep, yeah, me again. Turn. <laughs> um, let's do this one here. So I spend a good for that. Mm -hmm. Let's do that guy. Place a tile. I'll place a tile again. Um, maybe this one. For two more tiles. Right. That's, okay, so those greens no, that don't doesn't match. match. It doesn't match. Let's see where I got stuff. It's got to be next to me, and I don't think I have as many. Well, I kind of want to play that one though, don't I? It would be it'd be a couple points. So let's just um, mm. come over here. here. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. Because you have an ocean, right? And I have this, so I'll do that. That's three points. Three. Yep. Yeah. And you get yeah, another, another worker. Good. Okay. Um, and then I will do this. Did you want to take the terraforming card? Yeah. Um, that no, card? No. no. Okay. I've saved the goods for that. Okay, this is a choice. Yep. I will do... Um, Probably the farmhouse, right? You get five yeah. points for terraforming or whatever you call seven it. Seven points for that, yeah. Uh, yeah, so seven plus that, correct. Um, I will do it right here in the middle. That Can you go on there. a dot? 
Yeah, that's the whole point. That's the, ter oh. the era. It's in uh, impassable land. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five for the terraforming. Yep. And then... Um, that's it? That's that one, yeah. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. One. The food. Two goods. Food and a good. Food and two goods gets me over there. But you for, for, don't forget your other tracks here. Yeah. If you uncover... Yeah, it doesn't do a lot That's there. That's nothing. I would get the... I kind of want to go this way, so I think I have to do this. So that's a food and two goods. I think I don't get to go any further than that, though. Let me think about it. That's topple someone, yeah, possibly, yeah. and yeah. place. Let me, let me think about it. Um, food and a good... Okay, so I'll do that. I won't be able to do it twice. Well, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Well, Maybe. No, I don't have any more stars. Um, I will do it anyway, because it will take one of these off, which is maybe closer to that. So do that. I go here. I get to you put also, out an outpost. Um, do it here. And you get to roll. Yeah, I do get to roll. That mm -hmm. could be good. And you place one of those. Right. Um, another five points. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Wow, that was a really great card to get at the end of the game. Mm. Six points or good. Just Just going for the for the score now. Yeah, we gotta get, <laughs> we gotta get, we gotta get the six. six. <laughs> All right, and then um, what do I have left? I can do. Um, I should explore. I think. So that's a food and a good. This one yeah. you're doing? Yeah. Because it's victory points. Yeah. Um, again, I don't really have the tiles. So let's just do this one for two points. Gives me a tile. Gives you two tiles. You also and get to draw before. One, two. Um, before what? Before placing, because it's both a tile and... Oh, I see what you're don't saying. Don't you have one yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all... You could get three. Yeah, yeah. But he's also right. I get to draw that first. So two tiles. <laughs> no, just one tile. Isn't it okay? It's one for this, yeah, yeah. two if yeah, you yeah, use yeah, that yeah. tile. Uh, that's mushrooms. Uh, I don't seem to. I got lots of islands. It's pretty funny. Uh, so if I do that, it's going to be th uh, three points, right? So that's probably mm -hmm. pretty good. And I get a mushroom. I guess I go one more time on that track, right? That's the best yeah, thing I can do. Go over there, you get. Yeah. So wow. I, get, I get for my. Yeah, that's another All your four blue. points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is that. I am done. Okay. No no paying extra. So, uh... Now you will. Yep. I will do the last one of these, which is five points. And then I do the, um, upgrade. Mm -hmm. Oof. I'll do that one again, I guess. Oh, wait, this one. No, it's not there. Yeah. Uh, that was the one I was, four points was again. hoping I could do again. Yeah, another four points. And then um, we do the uh, victory point things. So I get uh, nine victory points for that, for my car uh, t uh, technologies. And then I get ten victory points. <laughs> I thought you were going to laugh us. 99. Or me. Okay. Not quite there yet. And then I get um, two victory points for every roller column. I have one, two, three, four, five, six total, so that's uh, 12. 12. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then um, over here I get four 11 victory points. Yeah, go ahead. Eleven. Uh huh. Okay. And then I get one, four. Another four victory points for that. And that is that. All of the stuff. You almost. You came two points away from <laughs> laughing, uh, laughing like all of us. Yes. Two hundred and twenty-six. Wow. So wow. that really so. turned around, because I was really doing nothing in the beginning of the well, game. Well, let's. You got let's. two two hundred twenty-six. Right. And then one. I was second. I went with one twenty-eight. Eight. Eight. And then Rusty with 112 <laughs> and Jackie with 105. <laughs> we get up the rear. 
Um, yeah, that really turned around. I mean, obviously getting to the end of this is huge, right? That gave me four more goods, which made me do a lot of stuff after you guys were done. I don't know, what do you think, Nikki P? Wow. <laughs> it's, there is so much to keep track of. It's really, it's one of those games where you don't just play it once. You gotta play it a couple times. You gotta, I feel like almost, you have to play with the same, or at least people that know what they're, they've played it before right. as well. So everybody can be keeping track of their own Well, and also stuff. helping out, we, we miss things. It's hard to keep track of all that. There was Rusty caught the, so the, many little finite rolls. steps. And this is here to help you. But, you know, if you get into this where you pay for this to do this and then you pay to do the extra thing and then you got to fall, it's, yeah, it's a lot of crazy. Um, but I like how deep it is. I mean, it's really deep. You've got to worry about your, um, what were these, your tapestries for right. your... Yeah, that and was that was. For me, me, in this game, I kind of felt like I... Okay, so I focused on buildings because of my craftsman ability, right. but I didn't feel like the tapestry Look cards... Look what you have on your board, um, as well as. ...gave me, well, and it, I still didn't win, so... No, but <laughs> my point, that? it's still a lot of board, a lot of... I mean, I ended up getting a lot out here, too. Um, I was hoping the tapestry cards would give me more of a, of a direction, and I didn't feel like, at least in this play of the game, because um, I've heard a lot of people say that really the tapestry cards give you your 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 direction, but I didn't feel like what I was drawing was giving me a good synergy and a good direction. Um, so I guess that's just the, depending on the game you play and right. maybe the the race uh, that you have. Um, right. But um, I still enjoyed it. It's just very, you have to want to be in a longish game. Right. Um, and really focus. Yep. What do you think, Jackie? Well, I think for me, this this is like if uh, Terraforming Mars and Tiny Towns had a baby. Okay. It's this game. <laughs> and well, it, you're not. It's, you're, at least it doesn't have the terrible things that Tiny Towns. Oh, you don't you. have to do the yeah the spatial <laughs> stuff. But it's sort of it's sort of scratching the same itch as Terraforming Mars, but it's a lot more work to keep track of things. So for me, that's um, it's more, it's a little tedious. Sure. Even though I think the gameplay is really interesting and really fun, it, it's the kind of game you have to want to know that it's for you and play it a lot so you're really familiar with the, the engine building, you're familiar with all the symbols, and you can really keep track of things as, as we were forgetting. Um, I just don't want to do that much work tracking things when I play the game. So I would play this again with people who really knew what they were doing, where I just didn't have to think about too much of that. <laughs> but for but I think for people who really like complex, meaty euros, they probably like this game a lot. Right. I just think it's like one step too much. Well, record keeping, part of right? the issue is is, I mean, this is a weird one. Right, it doesn't really show that here, where most of the other things show you exactly what to do. So this is where yeah. we kind of drop the ball on that, unfortunately. And we did it once, right? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. the only time we did it prior to that was this card gave that to me to do it, and then we never did it again until Rusty caught it. So um, I don't know. What do you think, Rusty? Uh, I like it to an extent. Uh, it's it's definitely much more game than I would normally play. I'm. I'm the shorter to middling gamer. Mid-level game? Mid yeah. Um, middling. I, middling. <laughs> I, I like the options for different places to go. I like the fact that it's not all focused on the board, that you've got your own board here to try to build to earn points this way. I like that there are different tracks. You're not getting blocked by anyone. The only blocking is out here on the board where somebody can take over your uh, your empire but that didn't feel like that was that much of a big deal you can see i didn't spread out much and i was more focused on trying to acquire tech and trying to see if i could get my arrows to work but uh like nikki said the the tapestry cards never created a synergy no. for me so i was just kind of like you know stabbing in the dark but mm -hmm. I, that may, you know after a first play i i may see strategies that i don't the next time well, but it's weird. 
You know, the, the, I think the tapestries are rough. Like, I, Jackie was joyous over here. She had such good cards, but I guess that didn't quite work I, out but for the, you. Well, the thing is that you can only play three of them total, and yeah. I had two traps. Nobody, oh, I also, wow. also being the trader, where it was to my advantage for people to explore with you. And, and yeah. they weren't. So I felt that, that the traders were underpowered in this game. And then it depends my, on what's happening, right? I honestly feel we all kind of dropped the ball in exploration because these give you lots of points. That six point one was yeah. pretty fantastic. Um, so if you can make that work. And you figured it out at the end of the game. Like, you're, oh, wait a second, I see what I should be doing. I also forgot about yeah. this stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you have to, there's a lot to keep track of. I think this game will get more fun the more you played it. Mm -hmm. But is it, is it, for me, is it fun enough to want to put in that time? Sure, sure. Um, I, I don't know. I, I know people who will love this game. Right. So I have played this once before on the BGG Cruise. I played it, and I had like the inventors or something like that and it was it basically led me down this track and it was terrible now i didn't i didn't do terribly in the game but i didn't i don't even know if i got to the end of this because i don't think i got i don't remember that the uh ai singularity but i must have i just didn't really understand what was going on because i know i started this track again but it didn't i did okay one of the players in the game really didn't do well, and he was trying to do this track, which is actually great, but it leaves a lot of randomness to the rolls, right? Because this mm -hmm. here, what happens at the end of this one right. is, if you can reach something based with one, with these rolls uh, advancing you, and you hit the end of a track, you get a bonus five points. And I think he rolled poorly, um, and it didn't really help him out, right? But I thought I was doing terribly, because I, I, these guys were okay, right? They're, they're kind of fun as far as they give you goods, and I ended up going all the way up just the good track, which maybe was a good thing. It seemed like it helped me because I was able to go a lot longer there at the end, um, and I only got five points from that, but um, I really thought I was doing terribly. I had really, really bad cards for me, because most of these are when played, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like anything that was an on like rusty i thought so i had your card in that game that i played i oh. had that one plus the in inventors and i thought well the inventors gives me a pretty tight focus that's what i thought what i needed to do right but that was pretty exciting for you that that gave you a lot of stuff for a little while there yeah the capitalism the ability well, i meant to... the architects right oh yeah the architects uh, this i only received once for completing this with uh all the same, and then I didn't really receive anything from it again because it needed to be all identical, which means I had to focus oh. on one or the other. Oh, I didn't. I misunderstood See, that. See, he needed to to really be laser focused on. But how would you do that? You'd have to upgrade each track to get every building to do that, and you can only maybe do that two or three times at at, at most. Because mm -hmm. this ends up here, right? That's mm -hmm. the last one where you're getting something like that in that track. All of those are kind of like mm -hmm. that. You gotta be on the tech track to get like cards like oh, this. Oh, that's probably would help you a lot, right? But then you have to be able to upgrade to yeah. it. Yeah, there's uh, not a, this track is where you really get that, and then you get the bonus one for each. This was terrible for you. This was oh. a real downer. I wish that you'd gone just one more or two more of those because that would have helped you a lot. And this was terrible because nobody went in. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that that was what that meant. Right. So. I, and I think the problem for me is that I just didn't generate enough resources early sure, enough. Sure, sure. See, I left all these resources on the board. Right. Yeah. So I should have been exploring. Well, the traders are explorers, on. obviously. That's really what that is. Yeah. It, it just, I don't know. I think part of it was I was expecting something to happen. Yeah, I'm the only one that did it, right? There. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, at the end, you guys started doing it, and I couldn't really do anything about it. Right. Well, you did. You didn't encourage Rusty over here. You know what I'm saying. So, and ultimately, you probably should have put one over there to try to encourage him to come over there potentially. Uh, except he didn't have. This was it, right? This yeah. is the one you put out that had goods on it. Um, and that's weird. See, this is. I remember somebody telling me that you can only have two pieces of plastic. And the reason for that was just because of these. And I forgot about this when Nikki was trying to come over here, which is rough. Um, but I do like the game. I do wish I could see more of these cards. I, I, I mean, at least I saw quite a few. I still had three more in my hand. Um, but I felt that they kind of went in the wrong order. Although this gave me six points and a good. 
But then this game, you know, this one just gave me a good or three dollars, three points for each of your landmarks, right? One good. It was a, it was not a great one. I, I can't even remember what I did. I might have just taken the good, and then this one was ten points. So it's a. Those were not ideal. This was what probably saved my bacon, right? Was giving me those goods. It just bumped me up a little bit more. And then obviously finishing a track is really important. You know, I mean, you you got to get. Uh, it's so expensive points. to finish a track, especially when you're trying to balance some sort of thing, like like balance a tile military thing or balance a science technology thing on the board and look at all those upgrades and on your getting your houses uh, out. Well, thank you for teaching us, Rusty. Oh, thank you. And thank you for joining us and watching. And if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell to get notifications every time we put up a new video. Mm -hmm.